That crew is uh, making preparations to begin the inspection activity using the shuttle robotic arm as well as the uh, boom extension. And they'll uh, be getting detailed looks at the starboard and port wing leading edges as well as the nose cap, a chance to get some detailed imagery and ensure there hasn't been any damage to those surfaces. The crew will also work on uh, readying the spacesuits. Thermal message, uh, there is uh, in one of the cross-feed lines, uh, you're just right on a uh, fault limit and uh, no, no action for you. Okay, thanks for the heads up, Kevin. We just completed the heater swap uh, called out uh, in the flight plan. Okay, and we saw the heater swap, thanks. Switching to uh, live view from the aft portion of the payload bay, this will look straight down that uh, boom, which is still stowed, uh, but uh, there you can see the robotic arm being poised to grapple with that extension as we prepare for the uh, detailed inspection of the thermal protection system. This is a good view of the robotic arm now in motion. The uh, arm operator or officer here in the uh, flight control room reporting that it was in pre-grapple position and now uh, preparing to grapple the 50-foot boom extension. The robotic arm is operated inside the space shuttle cabin. The operation is performed from the aft flight deck right behind the cockpit and uh, supported either through the window or by watching two TV monitors inside. To control the robotic arm, the operator uses a transitional hand controller with his or her left hand and manipulates the rotational hand controller with his or her right hand. A good view as the robotic arm now removing the 50-foot boom extension from its stowed position on the left or port sill of the payload bay. At the end of this boom extension are the uh, specialized cameras that will help with today's inspection activity. That will be a, a meticulous inspection of the starboard wing as well as the nose cap and port wing getting a, uh, some detailed imagery of those uh, leading edge surfaces and the critical thermal protection system, making sure there hasn't been any damage that would cause any concern for reentry. The inspection of the uh, thermal protection system has begun, beginning with the starboard wing using the robotic arm and the orbiter boom sensor system to get a look at the wing leading edges. As the uh, surface continue on the starboard side of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. This is a live view from the Space Shuttle Atlantis, a look there at the uh, order docking system. 
That'll be the subject of uh, one of the final tasks today. After the survey activities are completed, they'll conduct a checkout of the rendezvous tools, as well as installation of a centerline camera, and then the extension of the orbiter docking system ring. We'll look now as the uh, camera coming over the cockpit portion of the space shuttle. Reflection in the uh, windows there. The arm being remaneuvered and positioned in preparation for this nose cap survey, which is scheduled to last just about an hour. This is a look inside the International Space Station where the Expedition 16 crew is likewise making their own preparations for the arrival of Atlantis. In the view, Flight Engineer Dan Taney, who will be wrapping up his long duration stay and returning with the STS-122 crew. Commander Peggy Whitson now joining in the view. This is a view as the uh, surveys continue. And uh, one of the crew members in view there, Hans Schlegel, European Space Agency astronaut, taking a peek as the uh, cameras continue to get that detailed imagery. A minute ago, we heard the spacecraft communicator, Steve Robinson, give Atlantis astronauts the go to go ahead and release, uh, to ungrapple the OBSS. And with that done, pilot Alan Poindexter can move on to... Uh, one final task for the day using the Space Shuttle's robotic arm. That would be to uh, move on to a survey of the orbiter maneuvering system engine pods at the aft end of the station on either side of the vertical stabilizer. As the crew members on Atlantis got ready for tomorrow's docking, they conducted the uh, now standard flight day two inspection of the reinforced carbon-carbon panels lining the leading edges of both wings and the nose cap. No indication at this point uh, that uh, any evidence of any damage to that thermal protection system was found today. Our view now is from the camera on the Space Shuttle's robotic arm. Looking back across the uh, vertical stabilizer, the tail, if you will, Below, uh, approaching, is uh, the continent of Australia.